Why does God only some people? How can this be fair? Why does God only some people? Why does God guide some people and not others? How can this be fair? One of the repeated verses in the Quran, which is the cornerstone of this article, tells us that God guides whom He wills and misguides whom He wills. God then sends astray whom He wills and guides whom He wills. 14 colon 4 We did not send any messenger except that we sent him speaking the language of his people, so that they could easily understand what he brought from Allah. We did not send him to compel them to have faith in Allah, for Allah misguides whoever he wills out of his justice, and guides whoever he wills through his grace. He is the mighty, whom no one can overpower, and the wise in his creation and planning. Ibrahim, 4 On first reading, it may seem that guidance is something that lies outside our control, that we have no say in the matter and that ultimately, no one can choose to be guided if that does not coincide with the will of God. The Quran provides the explanation of this subject, confirming that what may be construed from such a first reading is not in fact what actually takes place. One God will always guide those who deserve to be guided, details below. In contrast, those with sickness in their hearts will not be guided, rather, God will increase their sickness. In their hearts there is sickness. Consequently, God increased their sickness and they shall have a painful punishment because they used to lie. 2.10. Allah increases the disease in their hearts, and they reap what they sow. Because they lied Allah increases the disease of doubts in their hearts, by adding hesitation to their uncertainty, hence they only gain what they deserve. They will have a painful suffering in the worst parts of hell because they lied against Allah, and the people, and rejected the message brought by Muhammad, peace be upon him. Al-Baqarah, 10. It may seem unfair for God to increase the sickness in the hearts of some people rather than allow them more time to purify themselves. However, God being omniscient, knows that however long and no matter how many chances some people are given, they will never believe. Had God known of any good in them, He would have made them here. But even if He had made them here, they would still turn away in aversion. 823. If Allah knew that there was good in these idolaters who reject the truth, He would have made them listen in a way that was beneficial to them, so that they would understand the proof and evidence. But He knows that there is no good in them, and that if He made them here, they would still turn away stubbornly, rejecting what they heard. Al Amphil, 23. 2. Ultimately, the decider in whether a person is guided or not is none other than the person himself. It is the sickness within the hearts of some people that prevents them from accepting God's truth and attaining the guidance, and not that God does not wish them to be guided. In actual fact, if it were a matter left purely to God's preference, God would have guided all people on the planet and made them believers. Rather, if God willed, he could have gathered them all to guidance. 635. If their denial and turning away from the truth you have brought is difficult for you, O messenger. Then see if you can find a tunnel into the ground or a ladder into the sky so that you may bring them more proof in addition to what I have already given you. If Allah willed to guide them to the guidance that you brought, he would have done so. However, he has not willed this because of his wisdom. So do not be among those who are ignorant of this and lose yourself in regret over their denial. al 35 had your Lord willed, all the people in the earth, in their entirety, would have believed, so are you to force the people in order to become believers? 10 hours 99 minutes. If your Lord, O messenger, had willed for everyone on earth to believe, they would have done so. However, he did not will it to be so for a wise reason. He misguides whomever he wills through his justice, and he guides whomever he wills through his grace. You do not have the ability to force people to become believers, their guidance to faith lies only in Allah's hands. It is not possible for any soul to believe by itself unless Allah permits. Belief only happens with His will, so do not lose yourself in grief over them. Allah places suffering and disgrace on those who do not apply their minds to His proof, instructions and prohibitions. Eunice, 99-100 However, every person must willingly choose God's truth and denounce all falsehood in order to rightly deserve the guidance. This is a reminder, so whoever wills shall pursue a path to his Lord. 76 29 Indeed, this surah is a piece of advice and a reminder, whoever wishes to take it as a path to the pleasure of his Lord should do so. You do not wish to take the path to the pleasure of Allah except that Allah also wishes that from you, because the matter is fully in his control. Indeed, Allah knows the requirements of his servants and what they do not require, he is wise in his creation, decree and legislation. Allenson, 29-30 God decreed that guidance is something that must be earned. God granted the human being free will. The human being must himself seek God. Then as the saying goes, he who seeks God has already found him. 
3. Since guidance is something that must be earned by every individual, it follows that no matter how much we would like to, we cannot give the guidance to those we love. You cannot guide the ones you love, but it is God who guides whom He wills. He knows best who are the guided ones. 28.56 O Messenger, you do not guide whomever you love, such as Abu Talib and others, by enabling him to bring faith, but rather Allah alone is the one who enables whomever he wants to be guided. And he knows better regarding whom it has already passed in his knowledge that he will be amongst those guided to the straight path. al cases 56 For the same reason, all prayers in which we implore God to guide those whom we love are utterly useless. They have to earn the guidance themselves. The Quran lists various reasons why some people are guided while others are not guided. The following are by way of examples. Those whom God guides. One God guides those who believe and do good deeds. As for those who believe and do good deeds, their Lord guides them by virtue of their faith. 10 9 Those who have faith in Allah and do good actions, Allah will guide them because of their faith to doing more good actions that lead to His pleasure. Then on the day of judgment, Allah will enter them into gardens of eternal bliss with rivers flowing beneath them. Eunice, 9. 2. God guides those who strive in the cause of God. As for those who strive in our cause, we will guide them to our paths, and indeed, God is with the good doers. 29.69. And those who strive hard in my cause, seeking my pleasure, I will certainly grant them the ability to tread the straight path. Indeed, Allah is with those who do good by helping, assisting, and guiding them. Al Ankabut, 69. 3. God guides those who seek God's approval and His consent. With it, God guides those who seek His consent to the paths of peace, and takes them out of the darkness into the light with His permission, and guides them to a straight path. 5.16. By this book, Allah guides the person who follows faith and does good actions, which please Him, to the paths of safety from Allah's punishment. These are the paths that lead to paradise. He removes them from the darkness of disbelief and disobedience to the light of faith and obedience, and He guides them to the straight path, the path of Islam. al 16 For God guides those who turn to Him. God sends astray whom He wills, and guides to Himself those who turn to Him. 1327 Those who disbelieved in Allah and His verses say, If only a physical sign was sent down to Muhammad from his Lord proving His truthfulness and then we will believe. Say, O Messenger, to those who suggest this, Allah, through His justice, leaves whoever He will to stray, and through His grace He guides to Himself those who turn towards Him in repentance. Guidance is not in their hands sought at, they could link it to the sending down of signs. Those are the ones whom God has guided, and those are the ones who possess intelligence. 39.18 Those who listen to what is said, distinguish between good and evil, and follow the best speech because of the benefit it contains. Those who possess these attributes are the ones whom Allah has given guidance and they are the ones who have sound intellect. Az Zumar 18 The words best of it in this verse refers to the Quran which God calls the best hadith. God has brought down the best hadith, a book, Quran, containing similarities in pairs. 39.23 Allah sent down to his messenger, Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Quran which is the best speech. He sent it down in a manner that part of it resembles other parts in their truthfulness, beauty and consistency without disagreement. It contains numerous stories and rulings, promises and threats, attributes of the people of truth. Attributes of the people of falsehood etc. The skins of those who are in awe of their Lord tremble when they hear the threats and warnings it contains. Then their skins and their hearts soften to Allah's remembrance when they hear the hope and good news it contains. What has been mentioned, about the Quran and its effect, is Allah's guidance by which He guides whoever He wills. Those whom Allah leaves astray and does not guide, have no one to guide them. al 23 Those whom God does not guide. One God does not guide those who chose to disbelieve. God does not guide the disbelieving people. 2 264 O you who have faith in Allah and follow His Messenger, do not ruin the reward of your charity by boasting about it and hurting the person to whom you gave it. A person who does this is like one who spends to be seen and praised by people, and does not have faith in Allah and in the reward and punishment on the day of resurrection. 
This is like a smooth stone on which there is some dust, when heavy rain falls onto it, the dust is washed away and the stone is left smooth with nothing on it. Similarly, the reward of the actions and charity of those who show off does not remain in the sight of Allah. Allah does not guide disbelievers to what pleases him and benefits them in their actions and spending. Al-Baqarah 264 2. God does not guide the transgressors. God does not guide the transgressing people. 2. 258 O Prophet, do you know about the arrogance of the rebellious one who argued with Abraham about Allah's lordship and oneness? This happened because Allah had given him the power to rule, yet he transgressed and took advantage of his position. Abraham explained to him the attributes of his Lord by saying, My Lord is the one who gives life to the creation and causes them to die. The rebel stubbornly said, Two can give life and cause death. I can kill whomever I wish and pardon whomever I wish. Abraham then put forward another stronger argument by saying to him, The Lord I worship is the one who brings the sun from the direction of the east, so. You should bring it from the direction of west. The rebel was shocked and defeated by this strong argument. Allah does not allow wrongdoers to be guided and traverse his path because of their disobedience and rebellion. Al-Baqarah 258 3. God does not guide the wicked. God does not guide the wicked people. 5. 108 These various oaths to be taken by the witnesses after the prayer, when you doubt their testimony, and the rejection of their testimony increases the likelihood that they will testify in the way regired by the sacred law, without them distorting the facts deceitfully. Witnesses are more likely to give true testimony for fear that they will be disgraced if the heirs give conflicting testimony. Be mindful of Allah by not eyeing or being deceitful in your testimony and oath. Listen to what you are instructed to do and obey. Allah does not guide those who go against Him. Almighty 108 For God does not guide the excessive liars. God does not guide the one who is excessive and a liar. 40 colon 28. Allah does not guide to the truth one who trespasses his limits and who lies against Allah and his messengers. al Gaffer 28. God does not guide the one who is a liar, a disbeliever. 39 colon 3. Definitely, for Allah is the religion pure of impurities. And those who have taken friends besides Allah, such as idols which they worship besides Allah, presenting an excuse for worshipping them by saying, We do not worship these except so that they bring us closer to Allah in status, present our needs to Him and intercede on our behalf with Him. Allah will decide between the monotheist believers and the disbelievers who associate partners with Allah on the Day of Judgment regarding the oneness of Allah they used to differ in. Allah does not place guidance in the hearts of those who lie against Allah by attributing an associate with Him and who denies Allah's favors upon Him. Al-Zumar, 3. 5. God does not guide those who disbelieve after having believed. How can God guide a people who disbelieved after their belief? 3 hours 86 minutes. How shall Allah grant faith in Him and in His messengers to a people who disbelieved after having faith in Allah and witnessing that what the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, brought was the truth, and after clear proofs of the truth of this have come to them? Allah does not grant faith in Him to a people who are wrongdoers and who choose error instead of guidance. Ali Imran 86. Commentary on 76 colon 29-30. This is a reminder, so whoever wills shall pursue a path to his Lord. 76 colon 29. And you will not will unless God wills. God is knowledgeable, wise. 76 colon 30. Indeed, this surah is a piece of advice and a reminder, whoever wishes to take eat as a path to the pleasure of his Lord should do so. You do not wish to take the path to the pleasure of Allah except that Allah also wishes that from you, because the matter is fully in His control. Indeed, Allah knows the requirements of His servants and what they do not require, He is wise in His creation, decree and legislation. Allenson, 29-30 On first impression, it may seem that there is a contradiction between the free choice granted in verse 29 and the statement in verse 30 which states that we can never will anything unless it is also God's will. Do these words mean that God would stop some people, who seek the guidance, from pursuing a path to Him if it does not coincide with His will? The answer is no. The words in 76 colon 30 state that no one can will anything, unless God wills. This is in line with the fact that nothing happens in the heavens and earth without God's permission. Perhaps the following example can shed more light. Since God invited all people to believe in Him, then it can never be against God's will if a person chooses to believe in Him. It would in fact be in line with God's instructions. If the human being seeks a path to God, it will always coincide with God's will, thus God would have no reason to stop it from happening. 
Ultimately, we should trust in God's justice, God will always guide those who deserve to be guided. They deserve to be guided because they seek God and they believe in Him. As a result, God makes the path to guidance easy for them. As for those whom God knows will never believe, no matter how much time and chances they are given, God does not guide them.